Lewis Hamilton has definitely been one of the loudest voices when it comes to the purposing of the 2022 cars. Lewis has even labeled the car as undrivable and terrible. It can be hard to believe these claims when you look at teammate George Russell, who has managed to finish in the top five in every race this season. Russell sits fourth place in the championship, two places ahead of Hamilton. Some former drivers have heavily criticized Hamilton for his performance compared to his teammate. Welcome to Formula Zone, your daily summary of quick news in the Formula 1 scene. In this video, we'll be talking about Lewis Hamilton and his teammate George Russell and also Hamilton's history with teammates. So, let's get started. Former Mercedes driver Nico Rosberg says, George Russell has been phenomenal this season for Mercedes despite the difficulty of the car. What an awesome job he's done. It's really phenomenal. With that car, with how difficult it is to drive, to be so consistent and drive it so well, not making any mistakes, always getting the maximum out of it. Brilliant, really brilliant. And even to the extent that on Saturday, one would think, okay, come on, keep it safe. Bring home another P5, P4 in qualifying. No, he says I'm good for gold. I'm gonna put my slicks on. I just care about pole position. He added how Hamilton has had an unlucky season and how Canada's P3 was the first normal weekend in a while. But let's just say at the same time that Lewis is still driving at his best, just that he's had an unbelievably unlucky season so far. You know, all these different things going against him, so this weekend has been the first normal weekend in a long time for him, and he delivered in the usual awesome way. He signed off by saying how Lewis hates losing to teammates. The driver pairing at Mercedes is incredible at the moment, so strong and it'll be really nice to watch how it continues to unfold. But make no sense, Lewis hates passionately to ever come second to a teammate. Previously in Imola, Rosberg had stirred the pot by claiming that Russell had dominated Lewis Hamilton through the weekend. He really dominated Lewis this whole weekend. You were four tenths up in qualifying. Where was the difference there? How are you able to go so much faster this weekend? Russell currently leads the qualifying head to head, five to four against Hamilton after the Canadian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton has also received heavier criticism by former drivers this year. Ralph Schumacher had things to say about Lewis being outperformed by his teammate George Russell. Lewis Hamilton is the big loser of the season so far. George Russell was new to the team at the start of the season and has been usually ahead and is also stronger in qualifying. He then continued by suggesting it's quite worrying for Lewis. The greatest driver of all time, as Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff always calls it, is ironed out by a newcomer in a way that's already worrying. He then made a few powerful statements. I'm amazed because there are only two options. Either Russell is the new high flyer or Hamilton had such a strong car in recent years that has made up for a lot. He ended by addressing Hamilton's back issues from porpoising. Russell was in the same car and George looked rather fresh to me after the race. Lewis should first see that he's faster than his teammate. I'm sorry for Lewis that he had a backache, but other teams are tackling the problem as well. Perhaps the car isn't having the same problems for Russell as Lewis Hamilton revealed that George didn't have the same bouncing that he did in Baku. He had a lot less bouncing. I had an experimental part in the car and a different rear suspension. Ultimately, it was the wrong one. It's not the first time Hamilton had an excuse about the car whenever things don't go his way but instead his teammates. In 2016, when Nico Rosberg had beat him to the championship, Lewis claimed Nico had better reliability. Hamilton claimed Valtteri Bottas was his best teammate in F1 after the Finn departed from the team. Hamilton never needed an excuse as he had no issue with the cars in those years as the cars were some of the best in F1 history, including the W11, an engineering masterpiece and arguably the greatest car in Formula 1 history. Nico Rosberg took a heavy dig at his former Mercedes teammate Lewis Hamilton after Lewis had made the claim about Valtteri Bottas being his greatest teammate. Rosberg said that the only reason for Lewis to think that is because the Finn never beat him. Mercedes often referred to Bottas as a wingman, hence why he never beat Lewis because he was always to follow team orders that always involved letting him by and was never really allowed to be ahead. Bottas wasn't the biggest fan of the name and had even admitted that it hurts to carry that name. Lewis doesn't have the best history with teammates. There's always something going on between his pairing, whether it be unfair team orders to suit him or like the Rosberg days where he would even collide with them. For example, the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix was a breaking point in the rivalry where the two cars collided resulting in a double DNF for Mercedes. That wasn't the only time they had collided. Had collided on many occasions, even as far back as 2014. Team boss Toto Wolff was angered by these collisions, resulting in the drivers being in trouble a lot. It's never good when you have both cars damaged or even out. The worst case scenario is when it caused by the two cars colliding, which often happened between the two. It wasn't just on track they would clash, but also off track. The 2015 United States Grand Prix had won the championship after a late Rosberg mistake. 
the cooling room, Lewis had chucked the podium cap at Nico in an effort to pass it to him. Nico responded by throwing the hat back at him fiercely with anger from the loss of the championship behind it. Spurk wasn't happy at all with the loss and proceeded to win the final three races in the championship to prove what he had going into the 2016 season. Feeling very happy, said Rosberg with a smirk on his face after winning the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, his third victory in a row. Hamilton replied with an effort to try to bring down his teammate's joy. Being a world champion sounds a lot better than winning the race. Spurg wasn't Hamilton's only teammate that he had problems with. Looking back to Hamilton's rookie years in Formula 1 at McLaren, teammate Fernando Alonso was another teammate rivalry. Hamilton had just joined McLaren as a rookie in 2007 and was already challenging his teammate for the title. Alonso was looking to defend his championship from his rivals on the grid. So it's understandable if Alonso would be concerned that a talented rookie was coming after his title. What's more interesting is that both finished on equal points at the end of the season. Seeing that Hamilton had joined a British team, there is a possibility of Fernando thinking that the Woking-based outfit could favor one of their own. An incident that happened between the duo was at the 2007 Hungarian Grand Prix. During the intense qualifying session, Alonso allegedly wasted time in the pit box so that his teammate couldn't have enough time to put in a lap time in quarter three of the session. Alonso not only had problems with his teammate, but also the team. An issue Alonso had with McLaren was the infamous Spygate scandal. The Spaniard allegedly threatened the then-boss, Ron Dennis, to reveal documents to the FIA that they had stolen confidential documents from Ferrari. Before the 07 season wrapped up, Alonso had announced that he would go back to Renault for the 2008 and 2009 seasons. This brought an end to his partnership with Hamilton and the working base team. One would question now whether Hamilton and Russell will fall out due to their competitive nature. No teammate has been entirely satisfied with Hamilton and has always had the issue of priority. Do you think the two will find issues with each other later on in their pairing spell? Lewis might not have many years left in the sport, so it wouldn't be smart to end it on bad terms with his teammate. Although Nico Rosberg has done exactly that when he had retired after winning the championship at the age of 31. How do you think the partnership of the two will go? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss any Formula One news.